Ah, oh, and how's my favorite sugar plum doing today? Did you come in for some candy or for my sweet personality? <laughs> Oh, you know my sweetness is on the house, Sugar Plum. Can you, though? That's a different story. If I could, I would. I'd be giving out candy to every sweet tooth from here to our own cheesy moon. Hmm? Oh. People had a conspiracy that the moon is actually made out of cheese. It's crazy, but it's fun to think about. And you never know. Maybe it is made out of cheese. Perhaps it's only on the inside. You'd be surprised what's hiding under your nose. Or, in this case, above it. <laughs> yeah, of course. The whole reason I opened this store is to spread joy to my fellow Sweet Tooths. If I could do that for free, it would be a dream come true. Though, I imagine it would be every dentist's nightmare. <laughs> so, what can I do for you, Muffin? Oh, I see. Not surprising, given how much of a sweetheart you are. Any idea who this secret admirer is? Well, if they're willing to gift you that much candy, and it's been over a month, you not only have their attention, but their heart. Oh, trust me. When romance is in the form of sweets, I might as well be Shakespeare. Whoever this secret admirer is, they've fallen deeper than Alice did in Wonderland. Well, if you think I can help, I'll do my best. You are my favorite after all, and I would like nothing more than to see you happy. <laughs> of course, I meant favorite customer. Every customer is my favorite. What were you thinking? Uh, I think you're reading into it too much. Just tell me what I can do to help. Hmm. What makes you think it's a sweet tooth customer from here? Huh. Did it have my logo on the candy? If not, how'd you know these came from my shop? Huh. You have a really good palette then. Not many people would recognize it to be custom candy. Well, since you already found out it's from my shop, and if you must know, then yes, your secret admirer did get their candy from here. Unfortunately, I can't say. I'm bound to secrecy. You're gonna have to figure it out yourself, Muffin. That sounds nice, but no matter how much candy you buy, I'm not telling you. And before you say it, no. I'm not going to let you just sit in a store all day long and approach each customer. Imagine it from their point of view. They don't know if you feel the same way. They're obviously afraid of rejection, and I completely understand them. It's scary to put yourself out there. So please understand, sweetheart. Well, Jellybean, that's the thing. 
How can you show interest in someone you don't know? You don't know what they're like, what they look like, if they're nice, caring, or loyal. How do you expect to show them you're interested? That's a good point, but at the same time, I think it's best to let them ask you out directly when they're ready. Thank you, Sugar Plum. I really appreciate it. What do you mean? There isn't any other way. Because, like I've said, I, I'm not gonna... <laughs> um, how'd you know? I was not being obvious. I'm acting like myself. This is how I usually am. Okay, the, the whole thing about you being my favorite? Yeah, I'll admit I did kinda slip up a bit. Oh, come on. I call every customer nicknames. I just have specific ones for you, alright? <laughs> well, looks like I've embarrassed myself enough for one day, so it's fine if you just want to be friends, we can pretend this never happened. Oh. Well, I, I, I didn't know the kiss was an invitation to a date, I... Uh, I thought it was your way to get me to confess. Sorry, I was just really scared that you might say no. Um, it's been a while since I've gone out with someone. I've spent the last five years running this store. I, uh, I wasn't sure how to put myself out there. In the two years I've known you, you've never failed to make me laugh. You make me feel heard whenever I tell you wild stories of when I was younger. Whenever I'm having a bad day and you come in, instantly brightens my whole world the moment I lay my eyes on you. I've been having these feelings for several months, but... I didn't want to ruin our friendship. I assumed you wouldn't feel the same way. So at first I thought it would be better if we just remained friends. I wouldn't say I changed my mind. I'd say I couldn't handle it. I simply couldn't stop thinking about what could be if I just tried. But again, I was scared. So I decided to express myself the only way I knew how. By sending you custom candy, made by my own hands. Actually, the candy I've been sending you isn't on the menu. I made a brand new flavor just for you. I was thinking about selling it, but I only want you to have it. And <laughs> this is going to sound corny, but you make my life sweeter just by being in it. So, Sugar Plum, will you do me the honor of going out on a date with me? You are absolutely amazing. How about later this weekend? I know a nice place where we can go and eat. How does 7 p.m. sound? Perfect. I'll see you then, 
Sugar Plum.